Hey guys, uh, my name is Grayson Williams, so welcome back. Over here I have a friend and it's Bella. Say hi. Hi. And uh, we named this trick Eclipse because it's Eclipse. Okay, <laughs> so um, over here I have a deck of cards. Surprise, surprise. Okay, uh, now today uh, it has a story because I was in a bar and I did this beautiful trick called the Ambitious Card. Where spectators chosen selection snap on my hands goes to the top. But see, then an incident happened where a guy took the deck and made a mess. And today, you're gonna play the drunk person. Oh, so you're boy. gonna help with the other. <laughs> okay, this is what it is. Okay, so over here I have a deck of cards. Um, I'm gonna riffle down the deck and you just say stop anytime you want. Okay. Stop. Right over there. You sure? All right. Take a look at that card, show it to the camera, make sure you can see it. All right, you got it? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. I'll take the deck of shuffle. But see, I did the uh, classic effect, as you all know, called the ambitious card, right? Uh, where I could take this election, whatever it is, in this case, three diamonds. I take it about uh, halfway, push it all the way in. But the snap, see, it goes not to the second position, or right back to the top. See, that's a very cool trick. But you seem a little spectacle. <laughs> well, watch it again. It goes halfway in the deck. And this time, you just snap. And it's right back to the top, which is pretty weird. Oh, but I tell you what, that's not the crazy part. It's not the crazy part. The crazy part is this. I'll shuffle the deck further. We'll give it a mix, whatever. And see, here's the crazy part. This is where it all went south. Because the guy, he grabbed the cards out of my hand. He did. And he uh, did something I was definitely not expecting him to do. And I'll tell you what it was right now. See, he yanked the cards out of my hand. Because he didn't like the trick I was performing. And so he decided to take half of the deck face up. And half of the deck face down. And he decided that he was going to make a chaotic mess with the cards. So he took them in his own fashion. And he took the cards just like this. And he actually started to do a pharaoh shuffle. Just like that. And he mixed every card face up and face down. Seriously, every single card. But see, it didn't matter to him. Because he, in, he asked me, he said, as a slot of hand artist, you can fix the card, right? And so I snapped my fingers. And I did it. See, I got four cards face down. But see, he said, well, you got four. You missed. I said, no. Because this isn't any four cards, it's one, two, three, four special cards, and there's no other cards face down. And he asked, well, what are they? And so I answered. And you picked the three diamonds at the beginning of the trip. I did. Three diamonds. But he asked, well, the trick's not working out for you. And I go, why? He said, that's just one card, what are your rats? And so I answered, the second thing. And she said, I'm concerned. This is a mess. And I go, well, that's a three card. And he asked, well, what about the other one? And so I said, and that's the three spades. When he asked about the last one, and I was afraid to show it to him because I knew it was wrong. But see, I knew it was wrong for a very specific reason because I had to do something visual because he wasn't oppressed yet. And so I took the visual part and I made it happen. I said, the moment you watch that seven, it could change. And that was the visual part. And this is where the drunk guy in a bar on that Saturday night was fooled by Slotted Hand Mad. Thank you so much. My name is Grace Williams, and that was the end. You can find me by typing in at GW Magical Arts.